Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. We got another Oilers update for you guys today as Ryan Rashog announced early this morning that Slater Cuckoo signed a one-year deal worth $850,000. What a deal we got for Slater Cuckoo. Once again, another depth defenseman who I think will help this team out come into the 2021 season where we are going to need some more depth defensemen. We lost Oscar Kluppbaum to a big time injury and now we slot in Slater Cuckoo. I already talked about him in the last video and how much I kind of enjoyed the guy. His market value on Jay Fresh's analytics was about 2.4. He looks like a very solid player. Uh, analytically, he looks great. He plays great offensively, not that, not just that defensively as well. The Edmonton Journal wrote up a little bit of a, a concern like risking. It's not really a risk for the Edmonton Oilers and well, I, I guess the Edmonton Journal was was just saying that there is a lot of like I guess missing pieces with Slater Cuckoo sometimes he is unreliable and we have seen that he doesn't play a lot of big time minutes and he's only played about a half a year in the NHL he hasn't really ever played a full-time season in the NHL but this is a guy who is a former 10th overall selection a guy that we're only playing 850k if he steps in the lineup and doesn't perform for us that's not that big of a deal we could send him down to the AHL there's multiple other defensemen that are going to be climbing through the system like for example I was just watching the game about Philip Broberg, which I will be making a video uh, later on that will be uploaded tomorrow. Um, just the way he plays is absolutely fantastic. It's amazing the way that Philip Broberg plays, but we'll get more into that later. But Slater played great against us in the play-in rounds, having about four points. He was doing great in the regular season for the Chicago Blackhawks, and I think he'll be a really good depth piece for the team. Either he's going to be playing over Caleb Jones or, or over Chris Russell, whoever he's going to be playing over during the season, it just means that we have more defensive depth, and especially in this 56 game season where we're going to be playing about 12 back to backs throughout this entire year, we're going to be playing lots of back to backs, and we're going to need a lot of defensive replacements to help our team out go through the season. So I think Slater Coco uh, Cuckoo uh, is a great signing for the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, it's a great piece for one year, um, and we'll see how well he does. And if he outproves himself, then that's great. Another, I guess, defenseman that we have some value on. But, I mean, we only signed him for a year deal. He is just a depth defenseman. Nothing too important, but in my mind, this is a guy that will help the team out going forward he has 19 playoff games he has some experience in the playoffs Slater Cuckoo will be a huge help for the Edmonton Oilers going towards this next season and probably a year where we're definitely going to be making it into the playoffs and maybe even going for a run with how this Canadian division is there's not a lot of proven teams I know a lot of people are saying Toronto Maple Leafs are the best team out there but they haven't showed that they're great in the playoffs I think the Edmonton Oilers can do that We'll have to see how well we do. Slater Cuckoo is playing great. Uh, I hope that uh, he plays great for the Edmonton Oilers. We'll have to see. But I'm going to end the video here. Tell me, guys, what you guys think of the signing for Slater Cuckoo. And I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios, amigos.